Hello there, this is as always Marcin and in today's video we are going to talk about calibration panel in camera. To be honest with you, this is one of my favorite panels in camera. It allows you to achieve amazing results by affecting the color on the image. Although this is really misunderstood and many people don't know the system behind this panel. So in this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about calibration panel. And also we are going to do some work to make our images even more amazing. So as I open this, we have some of the sliders and we need to understand what are the sliders. At the top, we have shadow slider so we can perform tinting for the full range from the magenta to the green only for the shadow area and to be honest this is really amazing slider even it seems so basic it can have major effect on the image and to be open with you if you are familiar with for example capture one software this is the major difference between adobe and capture one software when reading the image the capture one usually has more magenta in the shadows than adobe software and then the other sliders that might be a little bit confusing red primary green primary and blue primary these are not necessarily the colors. So if we will work with the sliders on the blue primary, it does not mean that we work on the blue color. So this is the mistake that many people does. But let me explain what is this red, green and blue. These are the lights of the image that we talked about in some other videos. So the image is connection of three different lights, red, green, and blue. And we working with these sliders will be changing the pixels of this light. So let me give you an example. When looking at the background, we can locate a lot of the yellow color on the image, especially looking at the trees. As you can see, we have some yellow tones, some of the orange tones. So how to achieve this color on the image, how this color is formed on the image simply by connecting the red light and the green light. When we connect these two lights, we achieve the yellow color when we connect them in equal value. To achieve the orange color, of course, we would add maybe 70% of the red and 30% of the green. Then we will be dominating towards the red color and achieving the orange color. Of course, when looking at the image, we can get many different colors and these different colors are result of connection of these three different lights, sometimes connection only of two lights, sometimes connection of the three lights in different intensity. So when moving the sliders, we not moving the certain color. So moving the blue slider, we don't affect the blue color, but we affect the blue pixels that exist there. It means we will be also affecting other areas than the blue color because the image have blue pixels in other areas as well. So starting with the red primary, let's work with the hue slider. So with red primary, it means we will be affecting the hue of the red pixels. Most of the red pixels we can assume will be on the skin tones, probably on the trees as well. So in the areas where we have rather warm color. And let's see if it's the true. And as I said, mainly the face, the trees are affected, but also the blue sky because there we also have some of the red pixels. And when we will be working with the saturation, we are adding the intensity to these red pixels or taking away intensity from these areas. And as you can see, main effect will be on the warm tones. Then going to the green, the same, we're affecting the hue of the green pixels wherever they are located or intensity of these green pixels and then go into the blue we can assume most of the blue pixels are actually on the sky so we can affect the hue of this and that's what happening also we affect a lot of the trees so uh, around these areas we it means we have a lot of blue pixels as well or different way or intensity of these pixels 
So, and this should give you a clear picture on how this actually works. And I like to work in the easy way with this. So I don't usually work too much with the red, green, and blue. But what I like to do, I like to increase the magenta for the shadows. As I said, this is the major difference between the Adobe software and other popular software for raw conversion that is Capture One. So Capture One give you more of the uh, magenta uh, towards the shadow. So if you like Capture One uh, look, but you don't want to get Capture One, you can actually do this using Adobe software. What else we could do here? Maybe we can increase some intensity for the blue. I don't think I want to manipulate with the hue, so this is not um, the best tool for manipulating the hue, as this is sort of guessing. We won't be able to say exact amount where is the green pixels, for example. So this would be a lot of guessing, but if we like to work this way, that's okay. Uh, but of course, I, I always... I'm always trying to be careful with these sliders and if I want to do more on the specific color, I will go back to the color mixer, for example. So if I want to, for example, change the hue of the warm tones more towards yellows, I wouldn't necessarily work here, but what I would do, I would go to the color mixer and do a little bit more uh, there with this. So that's it. As you can see, it's uh, now quite red. So I might correct this a little bit more uh, with the color pixels. And for now, maybe uh, lower only the intensity of the red pixel. So not much work if I want to do more, uh, if I want to affect the certain uh, colors of the pixels, of course, uh, I could do it in um, other tool. But of course, if we want to do it here, uh, we can also do it here. I'm just checking, this is uh, before and after. You can see this uh, magenta has really strong effect on the image. So if we like the effect, of course, we can synchronize this with the rest of the image that looks similar. So starting with the major image, I'm going to select other images that look similar to this one. Let's say this ones. Then I'm going to choose synchronize settings check none because I don't want to synchronize all the other settings at this moment. They might be a little bit different. I will only synchronize calibration. So here is the calibration. I'm going to choose OK. And as you can see, these settings are synchronized now. And I think with this few simple adjustments, we got really amazing colors. So now you know how the calibration panel works. You know how to achieve really amazing colors on the images in the camera. In the future videos from the camera series, we are going to talk about geometry, effects, and camera tools. Of course, if you want to know more about me or about what I do, check the links in the description. If you are interested in retouching, I want to invite you to my website, retouchingninja.com, where you can find my premium courses on the retouching subject. For now, thank you and see you next time.